meatballs are alike in my meatballs because you know what? We don't use machines. All right. These are all hand rolled, okay? These are no fillers. This is the real deal right here, okay? okay? And you can get them right to your doorstep. It's amazing. Three family packages, which are right over Thank there. Thank you, I'll grab them. Come in a, in a really cool little chest right to your doorstep. <laughs> with ice on it. <laughs> They're and, ready. And, right, and yes, it is. That, that's a lot <laughs> of weight a lot and of a lot of... There's a lot of meatballs in there. All right, let's get, let's get to the meatballs. Okay, so beef or turkey, the price is $59 and change, and you get a total of 18 brand new, making their debut today. Here's the original. Okay. And I want you Am to I see the difference in the oh, wait, sauce, yeah. yes, because uh, there's a fork. Okay. This sauce right here, it's plum tomatoes, okay, so real plum tomatoes, bay leaf, seasoning, um, a little bit of spices, not, this is not overly spiced at all. Look at the, look at the inside. Okay, you can that. basically, folks, take this meatball okay. and cut it in half, that's how big they are, okay? And what I mean by that is because you can get creative. You can serve a single meatball if you want, Yes. okay, but what you could do is, as I have single meatballs in that uh, meatball sub. You can see how creatively, and I'm gonna get back to that as a little appetizer. Of course, spaghetti and meatballs. What I love to do with them is slice them like you just okay. did and make a meatball pizza, which I absolutely, absolutely love. You can get as creative as you want. We talk about back to school, talk about after school snacks. Look at how easy oh these gosh, little sliders are. These is that is that not good? Having a moment, because the sauce and the meatball are dynamic together. And it is a privilege, I must say, to be eating a meatball that Chef Emeril Lagasse made himself. So well, thank you. Well, thank you. Mm, and mm, mm. Here's, here's the turkey one. So if you want to get a little mm. bit different, we use a lot of ground turkey in our house. Okay. You can see the sauce is very, very much different. Again, plum tomato base, but a lot different in, in the seasoning and spices with oregano, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. But look yeah, at the consistency. So look at the meat it. of that, folks, okay? Look there's at all fresh the herb there's and the herbs in there. there. They are spectacular, is all I can tell you. And you start eating these meatballs, you're the gonna like. The turkey's just as good as the beef, but yep. the sauce that's with the meatball is absolutely delicious. Chef. Now, here's, this, mm. here's how simple this is. Mmm, right? I keep saying, mmm. That's what good yes. food makes you say. Mm. When you're like, oh, that's nice, but when you're like, mmm, stop, don't talk, let's have a moment, that's good food. Well, you have them in your freezer, you take them out, you, you, can, you can basically take them out. You basically take the pouch. Okay. There's three pouches in a box, three boxes in a pack, okay? So you got a lot of family stuff going on. You take this pack, put it in boiling water on your stove, forget about it, 30 minutes, and you have meatballs. So I boil like, my from pasta, scratch. or I go ahead you and do slice your pasta, my buns you coordinate for the rolls. It. Well, here's an example. Like, I have a little garlic toast here. This is another big favorite in my house. You should see this. I've never seen yeah. anything so pretty I have in a little life. garlic. Toast. Okay. And I got burrata cheese, burrata cheese, or mozzarella cheese. That's very popular right now. So what do I do? I take the sauce now. I take chunks of meatballs on toothpicks. I take the mozzarella, and look at this—the little garlic toast. And now I have an appetizer for the table. So your family comes over, sees my family. We are we well have a, fed. We, we can use the meatballs <laughs> like that. Well, let One me just say, EJ's 400 favorite? orders have been placed, Chef. So, I know your family's eating them tonight, but families across the country are ordering them. So, don't miss out. Brand new today. One of EJ and Merrill's favorite after-school snacks is I'll make them one of these uh, little subs, hoagies, whatever you want to call them. Cut it in half. They each get one and a half meatballs. They are happy. They go play their sports. By the time they get home for dinner, they're happy again because they're going to get fed. And this is a true story. Yeah, Tonight in my house, they're eating these meatballs. We're all eating them together. I like that. Um, you know, let me tell you too, I've never ever attempted to make meatballs on my own. And here's why. Between the shopping and the buying of the meat and then the right seasonings and then, you know, gr grinding and grounding all of that together by hand. And then I have been told, Chef, and you could certainly confirm, isn't it hard to get the cook temp right? Yes. Usually they're undercooked or they're overcooked and dry and here's, no one wants them. Here's the problem. Here's the problem with meatballs that we have. Just what you said. People are afraid of them, first of all. They have a tendency of over mixing them, so they have a tendency of being tough. They don't know how much breading, what, you know, what to do. Is there an egg ratio? What holds it together? Yes. So it's very confusing. As simple as it really is to make a good meatball, it's also very, very <laughs> a technique in cooking. Now, the greatest thing that I, I love telling people is that, okay, so here's how I started. I started with my original recipe, both turkey and beef. My seasonings, my taste. You come to my house, 
and even if I didn't pull a pouch out, this is how, what this is what you're going to experience. And yes. I can tell you right now, I have a lot of friends out there and a lot of family members out there that can testify that meatballs in the Lagasse house is like it's pretty dangerous of what, of what we can do. <laughs> and this is that recipe. That's what I want to remind you of. You're just simply choosing beef or turkey, and you're getting an entire 18 count. Simple to cook. You have them in 30 minutes. And they come very covered in sauce. When you're looking at those plates that the camera's on right now, you're getting all of the meatballs, but you're getting all of that sauce too. So all you have to do is toss your pasta or get your rolls ready for your meatball subs. It's a lot that you're getting for $59. And most importantly, the work's done for you, which is probably Probably why 700 orders have been placed, but their chef's recipe. This is an Emerald Lagasse meatball, not just any. So there's the beef, and you can see no fillers. The quality of meat and products that are in these meatballs, they're hand-shaped, so no two, no two meatballs are alike. So don't be concerned when they come to your house and you go, oh my God, we don't use a machine. Okay. We're doing these by hand. The sauce is made from scratch with plum tomatoes. Uh, a little bit of crushed pepper, uh, Italian spices. Look at that. Isn't, uh, isn't that just delicious? Well, you go back for seconds instantly. I really can't quite get over it, and I think I'm going to offend one person. Mom, I hope you're not watching. <laughs> these are really, really good. Yours are good, but these are really, really good. I'll tell you, and the versatility, folks, that you have of these, and the simplicity. I, I, I swear to you, last week I was doing some final testings. I had nine of these coolers. So they arrive in a, in a cooler. The three boxes in the cooler with ice, nice, perfectly cold. You open up the cooler, I saved mine, okay? Take out the boxes, put them in the freezer. When you're ready, you can take out one pouch, one box, or all three boxes, okay. because they're really family style. You could have really a party, no matter what, whether you did it with pasta, or you did it as an hors d'oeuvre, or one of my favorites is meatball pizza, which I absolutely, I, I just go crazy for that. You can get as creative as you want. Original, the original has a little bit beef. more of that chunky style sauce okay. with the plum tomatoes. Or, or the turkey. You can go with the turkey. Why don't you spoon me out one one of okay. those you know, right on that plate? We have to say goodbye, Chef, because we've got to get ready for your chicken parm that's okay. coming up in a little bit. Look at that. 800 orders now placed, and the beef is now officially getting limited. So don't wait on that. Don't, don't wait. wait on the beef. Save room for chicken parm, right, but Rick. you might want to eat a meatball chicken parm, too. Yes, beef. Rick, uh, Rick turn, don't turn around quickly, chef, no, because there's cookies behind you. Whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> Look at that. See bite. that move right there we had? That was that was a move. Look at that. What, what are those? I'm getting up. nervous. Ooh. Stay tuned. More great food and nominees coming up next. <laughs> awesome. And don't forget, Chef will be back with a new configuration in chicken parmigiana. So yes. I can't wait to see that. Thank you. And more importantly, eat that. All right, we've Meatballs. got. Steak? Oh, we're going to take a break. All right, don't go anywhere. Lots more when we come back for another food fest.